Hey, if you're watching this, you missed our Boston Massacre HSI, that's History Scene Investigation lesson, on October 4th, 2017, which is Wednesday. Uh, you do not have to do the warm-ups when you're absent. All right, so today's learning target was to discover the truth about what really happened at the Boston Massacre. The Boston Massacre was about a conflict between colonists and British soldiers in Boston. There was a group of soldiers who sh fired into a mob of civilians or people who were not of the military. They did not have guns or weapons, and five of them died. Many said it was murder. Some say it was self-defense. That is the question that you have to answer today. Now, John Adams is our second president, and he also defended the soldiers who shot into the crowd. This is a portion of his HBO series about him and his contributions to America. So this kind of sets the scene. It happens right before uh, the Boston Massacre. So it's going to give you a good idea what things were going on and what craziness happened. So you're going to decide by examining four pieces of evidence, two eyewitnesses, a picture, and a crime scene. And you're going to try to decide with the evidence if you think the soldiers were guilty of murder or self-defense. This is what you will record your findings on. Now, if you don't have a printer and you don't want to print out the slide, you're welcome to go ahead and just recreate this on a piece of paper. Um, on the ratings column, you will either write murder or self-defense. So after you read the, the evidence or you um, examine it, you're going to decide whether this leans towards murder or self-defense, and then you're going to explain why. Please be specific, because you're going to use this in your writing at the end. Now this is Exhibit A. Kids were able to get up and go to the crime scene in the classroom and look at the evidence laying around. Now those cards there are the following. Don't forget that you can pause and rewind, pause and rewind to look at these. These are the five men that were killed, Crispus Attucks, Samuel Gray, James Caldwell, Samuel Maverick, and Patrick Carr. Exhibit B is a quote from John Adams. He was the defense attorney for the soldiers. Exhibit C is by Samuel Adams. He was the founding uh, leader of the Sons of Liberty, a protest group against British policies. Exhibit D is an engraving by Paul Revere showing his perspective of what happened at Boston the night of the massacre. All right, after you've recorded all your evidence, you are going to write a uh, response on what you have found to be true. So when you start off, you can use these sentence prompts to help you out. The soldiers were or were not guilty. Choose one of murder. And in paragraph form with complete sentences, you're going to explain how you came to that theory using examples from your evidence. You have to explain what the evidence was. Was it a picture? Was it an eyewitness account? And what proof came out of that exhibit that brought you to the conclusion of murder or self-defense? This should be a pretty hefty paragraph. It is a grade. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know and turn it in as soon as you can. Thanks for watching.